Good day, this is Tony Shropshire with the Nina and Tony Real Estate Team right here in beautiful Venetia, California, and I'm here with your tip of the week. I love finding out where old sayings come from, and I've got a pretty good one for you this week. Have you ever heard of the old saying, break the ice? You know, if you're going to get ready to meet someone for the first time and you need an icebreaker, you want to make it easier for two people to be friends or to talk back and forth to each other or connect or what have you. Well, where that saying, break the ice, comes from is back in the early 1800s. There was often two land masses with a big river separating them, and people, mostly the leaders, would need to go from one side to the other. Well, the ice on the river was too thin for them to walk across, and it was too thick for the boats to go across, so they would have to go through and break the ice, typically with a boat. This way, the boats could go back and forth and take the leaders to the other side of the river so they could meet together and discuss what was necessary and become friends. So I just thought that it was kind of neat that this term came from way back then. Icebreakers are a very good thing to have on hand, and I just love the idea that it was being used way back then, too. Now, as an icebreaker to you, one of the things I'd like to do is give you a copy of this great book. It's called The A to Z to Real Estate. It's 62 pages long, and it is a great little book about the buying and selling of real estate. It even has some inside tips in it, but nothing in the book is being sold. It's just a gift to you. So shoot me a quick email to the address you see here, or call the office, and I'll send it right over to you. It's a great little icebreaker to have on hand with no strings attached. Just my way of saying thank you for watching the videos each and every week. We look forward to talking to you soon and giving you the copy of the real estate book. Hey, here's a link to the book too.